Hi there everyone, Mark from Retribution Gaming here and I welcome you back to Final Fantasy Adventure DX. In the last episode, well, we died a lot, but we defeated a Hydra, we found a magic mirror, we took it back to Ketz and we found out that the guy there was actually a werewolf. So after defeating him, we are now actually able to progress and see if we can find out what happened to Anna. Now, our Red Mage companion in the Cave of March mentioned that there were caskets in the basement. So, I guess we should go and investigate, eh? Okay, so this is where we left things off. Um, we are now investigating Kets, so let's get on to it, shall we? We have pumpkins and owls. Very um, Halloween themed. Oh, and we were that close to levelling up. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Now, what are we going to do? Are we going to do Wisdom? Hmm. Power, Stamina, Will. I'm going to do Will. I'm not going to dwell too much on this. We'll try and figure this out later on. Right, anyway, let's continue. Yes, we are investigating the basement of Kets now. I still can't take those bubbles on with this sickle. However, that's not where I wanted to be. We can, however, kill them with fire. I'm not showing you fire yet, but there you go. It's an offensive spell. Oh, we found a matic. That will home in on the nearest enemy. So let's kill that skeleton first. See? Even if they're in the walls. So if they leave a chest and they're in the wall, um, tough luck. Now those... Oh, I've been poisoned. Hopefully, is a... Oh, it's a cure. Poison doesn't last long. Zombies also don't like fire, as it turns out. Um, so that cure, I'm not letting you get anywhere near me this time. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Okay, so let's use that cure that I just got. Well, I'll use that one instead. Wisdom. Now that crystal, those crystals, I believe, are stat increases. So I'm going to equip that, look at my stats quickly. Wisdom is currently at 9. Wow, Wisdom is now at 24. Um, I don't know, That's that's got to be a temporary thing. That's not going to be a permanent thing, is it? I mean, they wouldn't just let regular monsters like this hold crystals like that. Found crystal. Okay. Um, yeah, we're back to nine again. I don't think I'm going to use that um, crystals. I think I'm just going to sell them. So, uh, what we're going to do is ignore those. Yeah, and just carry on. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted by something there. I don't know what it was, but... Anyway, let's continue. I want to... Re oh, I haven't... I, mean, I haven't got a lot of MP left. These guys, however, I can kill with a sickle. I don't want to let them get too close, though, because they can poison me. And as if that wasn't obvious at all. Let's just use that matic. Now, I am going to want to use fire here. Because I want to get rid of these zombies. What do you drop? Wisdom crystal, okay. Can't carry. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use some of these cures. Oh I did have some pure. Okay, fair enough. Still can't carry it. There we go. Oh, and we've replenished it. Nice. Okay. 
Now for some strange reason, and I don't know why, I have a nagging feeling that when I knock that wall down, I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Don't even try it, zombie. Now. There's a support character you meet later on that replenishes your MP, but I don't have any items that do that right now. So... I'm just going to have to hope for a level up. How long is that going to be? And yes, I'm aware a pumpkin just jumped off the screen. Um, a long time. Oh no. No, it's not. <laughs> That's how much I have, not how much I need. Okay, right. So let's see if we can deal with this stat issue. Power and wisdom are the ones that need work. Right, okay. If I do that, and then do Wisdom next. No, but I think I did that last time, didn't I? Oh, well, we'll see. We'll do Power for now. But we're levelling up nicely, which is good. Yeah, yeah, I now have the ability to kill a pumpkin in a single hit with a sickle. Who'd have thought it? Um, right, well, this isn't obvious at all, is it? We need to... Can we clear these pots out with a sickle? No. How do we do that? We can get rid of these bubbles first. How do we do that? We need to stand on that, or put something on it anyway. Oh! Oh, I'm being silly. I can knock them over with Mattox. Right. See, now that opens that, but again, I've got a sneaking suspicion. I don't want to go down there just yet. Let's investigate what's up here. I can always go down there again in a minute. Ah, right, yes I do, because I can't progress over here. Yep. Right. I've just remembered. Yes, I do need to go down there. So, I've got enough Mattox, I think I can afford to use a couple there. <laughs> uh, I do want to bring fire back out though. <sighs> yes, indeedy. Right. There's the will attack, still not strong enough to attack these bubbles though. What are you holding? I don't know, but I can't do anything with it anyway. Is it worth me keeping these crystals? I can use a cure, because I have cure magic, but... Another matter, great. Locked. Have I got any keys? I have a key. Oh, that's not good. Aha! This is, um, what we're looking for. This is a chain flail. Now, you might have noticed that a wall has appeared behind us now. We can't get out. What do we do? Well, one of the great uses of the chain flail That's what its attack looks like, is we can latch onto posts to drag ourselves over walls and chasms and gaps and what have you. However, I think you can still... Okay, I still can't hit them. Um, I think you can, if you get dragged over something by the flail, I think you can still get hit by any enemies that are in the way. Also, look at my stats again. Are they, is that stronger than the sickle? Yeah, by one. Okay. But yes, this is a very useful weapon in that you can attack from a... F well, slightly attack from range. Now we can come up here. You know I said I can, we can get over here. Well, now we can. There we go. Sources. No problemo. We've 
can also attack through walls and fences and stuff as well, which is pretty cool. Still can't attack the zombies though. And again, like chain weapons, sometimes it can cause it to drag enemies towards you. Now here, we have a slight issue. We need to use a will attack to get over there because our normal length flail isn't long enough. Common complaint, I'm sure. Before I go in there, what's down here? Oh. I'm sure that wasn't there before. Anyways, evidently we need to um get rid of those pots. Are we still how are we looking on it? We still need a hundred to level up. Experience that is. the mouse. See, it sort of homes in. That's a cure. That's going to be useful, mainly because I don't have any magic left. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have done both of them, but it does mean I can hold another one. Now, now, this is a chest puzzle. Aha! Okay, so here we are. I've got some keys. It's the skeletons I came up with, or came across rather. Um, there were two of them, and both of them had keys, which was nice. So, um, yeah, and I actually went up a level in the process as well. Um, then fell down a hole and had to... Um, kind of got a bit lost so this took a bit longer than I was hoping to but uh, I now have some keys oh and as it turns out there are caskets here um, ah oh her, Anna Anna was in one of them Yeah, you're not wrong there. Let's get out of here. Right, we have Anna back, which means that I can focus sol solely on magical attacks now, if need be, because she can heal me. It's been a while since we last saw you. So you have a bit more uh, health to heal, but... Right, let's get out of here. However, there is one area that I wouldn't mind exploring. Um, and I'll show you where that is. It's the area that I said that I fell down, which caused me to... Did I say I fell down it, or did I say I just got lost? Um, no, I did fall down a hole. And it was the one that we used our chain flail to get over. Go away, zombies. Um, that was actually the wall that I was hitting, not the uh, pumpkin. Ah oh, yes, here. Now firstly, also, this is the room that I got the skeleton keys in. Um, and that stairwell 
leads you to here. It takes you to the room through this door. See, there's the stairs there. So I want to investigate this area because I didn't. I didn't want this to be going on for longer than I wanted it to. Um, I just want to know what's down here. Crystal. The skeleton hit me there. Oh, it just cycles round. So there is in fact actually nothing down here. Okay, well now I know. So we could have actually just been better off not even coming down here at all. Oh, I might as well kill all of them. Stop harassing Anna. Right, so now we can just leave. Oh, right, fine. It's going to be like that, is it? Be like that. Right, so we fly all our way over there. We're back here at this bar area. For mice and zombies, who'd have thought it? Okay, that is now in our way. Um, we'll just use that. We have enough mathematics. A oh, wisdom crystal, okay, well, we'll definitely take that. get our way back round and out, which shouldn't be too tricky. Those trees are safe from my axe. Again, nice. This is good. Um, as you can see, I still haven't rectified our stat situation. I think, though, this might be a way to do it. Now we did. up a bit more um, frequently. I guess not much more frequently, but our will bar is going up fairly decently now. Um, I can't get rid of any other matics. That's either going to be a matic or it's going to be an item called a pillow, which all that does is put enemies to sleep and is generally you know, sleep, you put enemies to sleep in this, they just kind of stand still. So, um, now one other thing as well is we didn't investigate what was over here either. So we're just going to do this quickly. Yeah, you best do your best Kylie impression. It was a room with monsters in, but nothing else. Any breakable walls? No. Okay, it's purely a dead end. Okay, fair enough then. Cool. You guys. Didn't see you on the way. Uh, on the way through before. You can go away. Um, now we have a problem. Let's just use that. 
I can deal with a lot of wisdom crystals. Um, I can deal with poison. I can counteract it with Anna's magic for a start. Speaking of magic. Why do they insist on just being right in the bloody way? Okay, I'm using a matic. Didn't mean to, but... And we found another one back, which I dare say is what's also going to be in this other chest. So we're going to ignore that then. I don't think I need this many matics. I could probably sell some of them as well. Uh, now you could have something interesting, I think. You might have a um, crystal as well. You do? Right, excellent. Uh, Anna, heal me up, because I do believe this is the final room of the basement. So, so that we don't have to do all that again, I'm going to save this here. And now we meet Mr. Lee. That's my victim. Yes, indeed, Mr. Lee. He's a vampire. Fun fact, named after the uh, well-known horror actor Christopher Lee. That's why his name is Mr. Lee. Uh, it's fairly straightforward, he just moves in a kind of diamond pattern and I've just realised that I have um, whoops, taken a lot of damage. Yeah, he moves in a diamond pattern um, and sort of spews backs at you. You can use your attacks to uh, fend off the bats, but I mean they're fairly easy to dodge. So this isn't a particularly difficult fight. There we go. Defeated vampire. Received the magic book of sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's how he was doing it. Learn slep. <laughs> well, I'm schlepping across this whole place. But yeah. I've learned sleep. Are you alright, Anna? Yeah. Wendell is to the south. Let's hurry. It is indeed that. And again, we're going to save. Yes to ask Anna to help us. We're going to save and we're going to call it an episode there. So we've successfully navigated Kets, we've investigated what was going on, we found out that Mr Lee was kidnapping girls, one of which was Anna, we defeated the foul vampire and we've got Anna back. So we're now free to go down to Wendell, which is where we should have been going anyway and see Sibba, finally. So, next time, I think that's what we're going to do. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll join me for that one. And until then, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.